okay so let's make a few adjustments here on this logic so first of all let's i think let's prioritize this let me find uh what the raw rank is here so in order to do that we have db get instance because we want to read from the database so instead of repeating to get this instance i think it would just be a good idea to move it to the top there so that anything below it can use it so let's do that and then the second thing is we want to know because in the session the only item we're saving for the user is the url this one right there session user url so as a result what i can do is use it here but because that's not what we are looking for we're looking for the user's rank so the rank is part of the row of the user so instead let's get this user from the database so what i will do here is let me just write a simple query i will say query is equal to select or oh so we might just uh, select the rank by itself so if you want to select multiple columns you just put a comma and add another column like uh, id rank and so on but in my case i just uh, i just want the rank so i want to know what rank this user is so we'll say users select rank from sorry there from users where so let's go with where your rail address is equal to and guess what this one right there okay so we could escape this one here oh no actually instead of uh doing the whole escape thing let's let's use uh prepared statement so i want a clean uh variable here so i'll just say url is equal to that to avoid uh, putting this stuff actually no this is not even a big deal let's create an array here so we're just going to say array url like that uh-huh is equal to so that we can use that to read so are we using this as well yeah so this is why it's very important to if you're using you're going to be using the same array names it's very important to clear them before you use them every time because you might put some code on top of this now imagine here the lucky thing is that i'm using url now imagine there was another item i had added in here which is in the same array if i do this again then there'll be two items in this array and then when i supply this to that it might cause an error because there's only one item it's expecting but the array will have two items so a good rule of thumb or a good practice is to say array is equal to false before you actually use it or no or false uh, that, that we will do that way if, regardless if you used it on top it will be cleared here and then you can start again all right so let's do that here so there you are our address let me see if I ain't using it. Yeah, no, that's the only time. So at this point, I'll say full colon URL and then say limit one. So that's my URL there. Now I have to make sure that uh, I do find a result here. So let me copy this and I'm still going to check if it's an array. So I'll copy all that. So result is equal to db read. Let's put our array in there and the query. And then if we do find a result, uh, okay. So if we do find a result, yeah, the only issue is I'm using this if count is greater than one. So I think I should change this logic a little bit. Let me do this. Let me get the if statement right above these guys so that i only try to read from the database when there is an uh, a rank issue here otherwise it would be a waste of time so we wouldn't need to do that if there's no need to check for a rank so now the problem is we need rank on this if statement so what i will do is actually cut 
this one out so we just check if there's a rank in there then it's good enough for us to pass through here and then when I when this exists if I find the user then I can go ahead and ask the if statement of are they in the array so this is result now result here is uh, an array of objects so what I will do here is change it to row or maybe just use result itself result is equal to result zero like so just to simplify things so that we get only the first item in the result set okay so instead of row I think I will use result here because now result is an object so result rank inside allowed so if in array then we do uh, what do we return actually down here if the okay so we return the result if we do find the user so at this point I will return this one which does not exist anymore so I'll return result so let's just say return result there we go now if there was no user found of course we have to redirect this user to the login page so I will actually copy this and put it there that else statement right there okay so if we don't find the user redirect them to the login page because they are not part of the admin area now the thing is if this is not greater than zero which means we haven't supplied any of this or it's empty we don't need to redirect here so what I will do instead is delete actually this else statement we not the else statement though just the header this part because what I want to do is move this ending bracket to this point right there so let me duplicate that instead and delete this one so now we are inside this else statement so let me move that inward so let's go through this logic a little bit more because it can get confusing rather quickly so let's imagine we are on a redirect page where both of these are not uh, given so in this case our redirect will be equal to false and then allowed will be equal to an, in, uh, an empty array right so let's look at this so if this is false or this is zero in other words so if count is greater than zero which it is not so which means we will go through here instead so once we get here we're going to check if it is set the user URL right now if that user URL is set we'll go through here read and then return that user's row but if it is not then we're going to check if we need to redirect and if we do let's redirect and then regardless uh, if we we redirect here we will still actually it won't matter what we return at this point yeah it's pointless but we'll still return a false oh actually it dies here so there will be no return here okay so those are our options here actually but then if the re redirect is false in case of the default uh, we're just going to return that so I think our logic is solid at this point so um, unless there's something I'm missing let's give it a test run shall we so I will go back to my admin.php so here we are looking for an admin quite all right and once we get the admin we'll get that user and allow them okay goody so let's go here and it had logged me out so Mary password login okay so now we have unexpected return on line 159 so goody an error so let's solve that error rather quickly 159 where are we right there 
okay so it's saying an unexpected is it unexpected return hmm so usually this is a a typing issue uh, there's something I forgot and maybe a bracket or a semicolon somewhere so usually when it says unexpected on this line it means there's a previous line the previous line is the one with the problem either these lines on top but not this particular line because uh, even though it says unexpected it means just know that it's a previous line that has an issue and not this line itself unless the unexpected value is not the first one so if the unexpected value is this one then i'll know that uh, there's a problem with this part okay so now that it's return so it means it's probably this line with a problem so i think i see the problem here the, there are two brackets here opening but there's only one closing so let's add one here and let's see what that do so let's resend our data Okay, so at this point, I can see that we are logged in as Mary, but let's try and go to the admin. So at the end there, let's type admin. And what do you know? We are sent to the login uh, page. That's where we are sent. So uh, pretty good, pretty good. So let me click there. Okay. So uh, yes, if somebody, now let's try, let's log out and try uh, somebody who actually belongs to the admin section. So let's try that. And on save. So let's go down here and go to the admin. Okay, so that one too is not being allowed. So that is very strange. So now let's go to our local host and see what the problem is so i want to go to php my admin let's see what rank we gave this user now while we're at it what i want to do is check what we actually got from the uh let's get the result here so what i will do is i will say let me check uh where is the core here up core inside functions we have a show function okay great so let's see what we have in that result and then i'll put die so that it can stop right there so let me try and go to the admin and look at that it just stops and there's nothing so that's mighty strange so what that means is that it's uh it has returned false now false is zero or empty so that's why we're not seeing anything there it's zero if i do a var dump then it will tell us that it's false actually let me show you that that's the advantage of var dump var dump shows you the data type as well so there you go it's a boolean and it's false just in case uh, you wanted to see something like that so in our case here, we are returning zero. So select rank from users. Oh, sorry there. I didn't see this uh, echo sign. Must have been in a hurry. I think that's where the problem is. So remove that echo sign if you actually put it there. And then let's try again. Okay, so now we are being allowed in the admin section. But let's just confirm that the other person is not being allowed. So let me log out again login as mary and then let's put a password and let's go to the admin section and it turns out that mary is allowed so this has become a problem now so let's go to um let's go to our users table and see exactly what's going on so at this point, you can see that the rank is customer. The other one is admin. So let's see what we're missing here. So let me put that back there. And let's do this. Refresh. Okay. So rank is a customer. That's what we get. So from the zero, we have an object with customer there. So which means uh, things are going well up to this point. So now the question is, if in array, 
why is the in array finding this in allowed so let me copy this let me put allowed here let's see what the contents of allowed is so that's admin okay so what i want to find out now is uh let me move this error checking tool inside here i will put it right there so i want to find out the result of this evaluation here so let me just put it inside there what is re the result it should evaluate to true or false so let's see there okay the fact that it's not showing it means it has evaluated to false so let's confirm that using a var dump make sure that it's actually a boolean or false okay that's good so it means our logic is actually working so now the issue is if this has been bypassed this is what we didn't think about so so if at this point we find the user is not part of this what happened here is that it just didn't go through here and then just kept going and because it didn't go through this either it just returned a false hmm so what we need to do is put an l statement here right there as well else but actually maybe uh we don't even need this else statement here just to keep our code clean what we will do is because we're having two else statement here another else statement here so what we might do is just let it run like um if this is set if we do all our logic and we find that uh, still uh things are not working out then we will do the header die thing because a return will exit the function right there so we needn't worry about this ever running if things went well so what i'm saying here is let's remove all this and just put these out in the open like that so what i'm doing here is that if we do happen to get to this point then there was something wrong here so i'll happily accept a redirect because this is a sensitive page the admin section if we do find the user and everything is correct then they'll just return that and we'll never get to this point okay so let's uh, refresh the page and go back to our admin and you see that now i'm being redirected out of the admin page so let me confirm that with an authorized user password and let's go back to our admin section this time since we are admins we have the link so click and there we are allowed to live in the admin section okay so so far logout button working and we have authorization systems here okay so next up let's populate the this area right here with some usable links i'll see you in the next video